We are going to now look at lists. We're going to carry on with that work, but we're going to start combining the skills that we've learned by using the for loop. That's a, a way that we can loop things over for a number of times that we want. Um, so we can repeat a piece of code and we can specify how many times we'd like that to repeat. Okay, so uh, once again, let's dive in. Let's. Um, Okay, so Python, let's call this um, list looping, lopping, lopping, list looping. Okay, so our new Python file here. So this time we're going to do some work with integers, but um, once again, lists can contain strings, integers, floats, a uh, number of different types of data. Um, but so let's create a list. Okay, let's think about um, experience points. So often when you play games, uh, for every creature you kill or character that you kill uh, or thing that you achieve in a game, uh, you get experience points for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a list of um, experience points uh, for every challenge that we've completed, perhaps in a game. Like for instance, if we've killed something every time we've killed it in a game, we get a set of experience points. And that list will obviously, as we Play the, continue to play the game should have more experience points added. So uh, let's show you what I mean by this. So I'm going to set up, um, we're going to just call this X points, okay, and this list. So for instance, you know, maybe I've, you know, uh, killed a few different creatures in my game. So we've got 10 experience points 20, 10, 30, 40, uh, 10, uh, 200. 70. Okay, so that list there represents experience points I've got for individual creatures I've killed. So maybe a goblin's worth 10 experience points, uh, an orc is worth 20, and uh, later on a dragon is worth 200 experience points. Okay, now in games, uh, what would happen is we'd often add these on each time, but what we want to do is we want to find out uh, how many experience points in total we have at the moment. Okay, and we can use a for loop to help us do this. All right. Now, before we do our for loop, we also are going to use another concept that you learned before, which is using a, an accumulator. Okay. So this is going to add up each time uh, the different um, indexes of our list. All right. So just watch. I'm going to create another variable. Uh, call it total points. And to start off with, this will equal zero. Okay. So I'm playing a game, I want to find out, okay, how many experience points have I got in total at the moment? All right. Well, we use a for loop to do this. So we type for, it goes blue, and then we uh, create a variable. We can call this anything I want, okay, but I'm going to call it count, all right? This makes sense because it's going to count its way through uh, the list, all right? For count in range, okay? And then we put uh, sorry, like that. And then we put uh, how many times we want it to uh, count. All right. Now we have done this before. We did stuff in Python Turtle. We want it to repeat code. So I can put a number in here and it will repeat the code that is inside it a certain number of times. So I could count, okay, well, that's going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want it to go through my list eight times, okay? I want it to repeat something eight times, all right? Now, to make you aware, okay, um, as it's count, as it's gonna do something eight times, all right? This variable I've created called count, this will, the first time uh, the loop runs, count is going to equal a number, all right? These variables here will always equal a number. And the number it will start off with is zero. Now, you'll see why that is handy now, hopefully, okay? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, all right, well, total points, all right, is equal to what it was before, okay? Total points, and we're gonna to add to that and we want to add to it, because it starts off as zero, but we want to add to it the first index of this list here. So we want it to add on this index, where the number 10 is. Now to do that, we type in x points, that's the name of the list, 
And in here, what we're going to do is we we obviously want it to be zero. The index is zero where this is, okay? But as I was saying before, what we can use is this variable count because this variable here actually go, it starts off at zero and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then stop. Just to remind you, computers count from zero, okay? So if it's gonna repeat eight times, the first time count will equal uh, zero. Now I don't put zero in there. What I want to do is put the word count. I want to use this variable and I'll explain this. What will happen is every time this code repeats, the value of count will go up by one. So the first time it does this piece of code, count will be zero, then it will repeat again, and then count will become one. Okay? So what it will do every time, and then the next time count will become two, and then three. And what this means is it's going total points will is essentially equal whatever it was, okay, previously, plus the list, okay, and then count. So the first time it will add on this index, the second time this one, third time this one, fourth time this one here. All right. Now what I want to do is finally print out the value of total points. Okay, so as I said before, all right, this accumulator, which we've done before, but what it does, total points, the first time this loop runs, okay, total points will equal total points, well, it'll start off with that zero, and then it'll add on to it, the list, x point, this count, the first time is zero, so it's total points will equal zero plus 10, okay? Then it's gonna repeat again. Total points is now equal, well, it was just a minute ago it was 10, now it's 10 plus x points in the list, count, and count will now be the number one. So it's going to be looking at this number here. So 10 plus 20, so total points will now equal 30, and it will repeat again, and then it will be 30, the total points here will be 30 plus x points count now. The value of count is 2, so it's increasing each time. So that will be then this number. All right, so if I run this, what we should have 390. So that's all of these numbers added up together should equal 390. Okay, you can test that if you want. Now, another uh, thing that really would make things much better is, well, what happens in my game if I, okay, I add, so x point dot append, so I've just, you know, killed another creature, perhaps it's another dragon, okay? So I'm going to add on another 200 experience points, all right? I'm carrying on with my game, killed a dragon, so my experience points dot append, just to remind you, this adds on to this list here, the number 200. All right, so I have this list and then 200 on the end. Now, if I run this now, it should, okay, we would hope that it would increase, but it's not, it's the same number. And that's because it's repeating eight times. That means it's only going one, two, three, four, five, um, sorry, eight times. Yep, so, um, yeah, that's right. Sorry, it hasn't added it on there because you won't be able to see it. Oh, okay, let me just print this out. So you will see, okay, print um, x points. Okay, so yeah, if I print x points at this point here, this you won't see this list, but uh, you will do this time. So here we go, it should be changing. Okay, here we go. So yeah, print x points, okay. So that's my list now, all right. See, it's got that extra 200 now on the end. That's how it was. Now it's got that extra 200 for that dragon on the end, okay? But when I do my loop here to add all the points up, okay, it's still 390, it's not using that 200 because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's not including this. This needs to change to nine. But I don't wanna have to keep doing that every time I add, you know, some more experience points. So there's a little technique that we can use, okay, that means we can make something uh, go for the length of a list, okay? It can repeat something, it can find out the length, how long is my X points list, okay? 
So what we can do is we put in here len, that stands for length, and then a bracket, and inside the bracket, I'm going to put in the name of my list, x points. So len, bracket, uh, x points, bracket, what this code does is it will put inside here the length of my list. All right? So the length of my list, well, it was 8, but I've added this new one on here, so it should be 9. So if we run this now, you'll see the new number 590 there. And that's because the loop, okay, was running now nine, um, <laughs> 8 times, sorry, 9 times. I'm getting confused myself. Uh, running one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, okay, instead of eight. All right? Uh, and that's just a clever little way of getting the length of a list as well. So I'd like to practice that. Um, you can do it there. I think with uh, numbers, it could be experience points, but it could be like exam scores. You might want to add up all the exam scores that a student had got or all the ages uh, in a football team, perhaps. Um, it's up to you. you. You do it yourself, and then you can um, play around. But yeah, try this technique. So I want you to, excuse me, I would like you to create a list, use a for loop to loop through it, counting up how many of these points are, and to print out the total at the end. Okay, good luck.